recently and I really love the feel of the gravity gloves so I decided last week that I would try to recreate them in Game Builder Garage um, and sort of capture that uh, VR feel so basically in my gravity gloves game you can use both of the Joy-Con or you can use a controller but it's not quite as good to uh, simulate the gravity gloves and pick stuff up and sort of throw it around and have fun basically. So if you don't have VR and you have a Switch, uh, you can experience the fun of the gravity gloves for yourself. Now, the programming for this is actually really simple, especially compared to my other games. So I'll walk you guys through it and uh, you could probably replicate this yourself really easily. If you don't want to replicate it yourself, I'm also going to put the download ID in the description so you can check out the game and play it. So in the center here, we basically just have the object set up that makes up the world. Nothing fancy here, apart from the fancy objects. Um, but nothing actually fancy, no tricks or anything. And over to the right, we have all of the code, which fits on one screen. That is it. It's very, very simple. So you could actually use this code and probably import it into a more complex project if you wanted to. So let's run through it right now. Uh, first, we've got the world box, which is literally just the world settings and the music and also the uh, glass smashing sound effect <laughs> whenever a cylinder breaks. Then we have on the left here, this section is the right hand, so the right Joy-Con, and this section is the left hand. And they're both identical other than the fact they use different buttons and uh, activate different Joy-Con, basically. So we'll just look at the right hand and you should be able to understand everything about how I made it. Because as you can see, not very many node-ons. Um, let's start with the apply force option down here. So basically uh, this section, when you're pressing ZR and you're not pressing R and you shake the controller, um, then you're going to apply force and fling an object towards you. So that's basically how it works in Half-Life Alex. You hold the trigger button and then you shake the controller and it flings the object towards you. A little bit counterintuitive perhaps, but uh, once you try it out, it's pretty fun. So basically, whenever you do that, you apply force and you apply it to all of these objects here, which are actually really long. They're all attract force objects. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make these visible for just a second or at least one of them. So you can see how this works. Um, oh, I have to recalibrate the stick. There we go. So you can see that's actually this attract force object that's extending out of the Joy-Con. And that is basically what lets you grab stuff. So you can't grab stuff that's uh, beyond the attract force object. That's one of the limitations of this. But if you really wanted to, you'd probably stick another attract force object on the end to make the uh, range a little bit longer. But what I've actually done is I've overlapped uh, seven attract force objects all in the same spot. And the reason I had to do this is because one attract force object is not actually enough uh, to fling an object, to an object towards you. So I overlapped a whole bunch and uh, that increased the force enough that you can pull the objects towards you. Um, since making this, I've also found another solution for increasing force, which you might have seen in my Smash Bros video, where I go into a little bit of detail about how I used it for knockback in Smash Bros. But basically, you can also use one attract object um, and 
apply the or, or give it an input for an extended period of time so say you give it an input for two seconds and then it will attract for two seconds and ultimately that means uh, more force is applied to the object in the attract object but overlapping a bunch of attract objects also works pretty well so we can come up here and you can see that all these attract objects of course are attached to a hand node on uh, which lets you move it around with the Joy-Con and there's an extra hand node on just to show the uh, line where you're pointing because once you attach these objects to the main hand node on the line disappears so I just add an, an extra one which brings the line back basically. There's also a touch sensor um, on the attract force objects so again this touch sensor is just the same outline as the outline you can see here and that's so that we know whether the player is actually pointing at an object they can grab or not and if they are pointing at an object they can grab um, then what it's going to do is it's going to vibrate the controller and then when you press ZR it's going to vibrate the controller even more just to uh, make sure there's a little bit of haptic feedback and it actually feels like you're playing something towards you and I think finally here we have the uh, right hand grab so this is the option for actually holding onto objects so you probably saw before go ahead and try and catch something can I actually successfully catch something here yeah, there we go if you hold L or R you can also catch objects um, so that's what this box takes care of basically when you're pressing R or holding R it activates this teleport object entrance which I'm gonna go ahead and make visible for a second so it activates this entrance which is quite large around your controller um, any object any object in that entrance is going to get teleported to the end of the joy-con so it looks like you're holding it basically because there is a teleport object exit which I'll also make visible right here at the end of the joy-con a lot of stuff overlapping here it's a bit hard to tell what's going on but basically just when you're holding R it constantly teleports the object to the end of your joy-con very simple and very useful um, code there that I'm going to use for a few other games uh, just teleporting something to itself uh, makes it look like you are grabbing it basically and of course all of that is duplicated for the left hand exactly the same like I said just change the buttons change the controllers it vibrates and of course I change the right hands to left hands and that is basically it it's actually a deceptively simple program basically the main gist of it is you press ZR and it activates a bunch of boxes a bunch of attract objects uh, which bring objects towards you that's it so I reckon um, that if you really wanted to you could basically integrate this into a proper game um, and sort of do something more interesting with it if you'd like to like I said I'm gonna put the download ID in the description so if you want to have a go with this you can and also you might have seen uh, in the opening uh, footage that there's a gun in this level hidden somewhere that you can use to shoot the objects as well so if you want to try that out and look for the gun also check out the download ID in the description and uh, give this game a try anyway that about wraps it up for this video if you liked the video feel free to leave a like on the video and if you haven't done so already you can subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be posting a bunch more game builder garage games I've got a few in the oven right now none finished right now but a few ideas um, and I'm going to get on those and make some more games for you guys. So I hope you enjoy and in the meantime, happy building.